you too. Mm. I'm actually been waiting for this video for a minute. Not waiting for the video, but waiting to do something that was actually worth noting. Uh, I made a video earlier in the day and it wasn't just, it wasn't hidden for me. Uh, shout out to the person who commented on it, man. Uh, I appreciate your words. Uh, but yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling that video, man. I just had to take it down. But where there's smoke, there's fire, man. I'm seeing something happen in Arizona right now. It's interesting to me. So today the lead came out with almost like an Ill a edict, right? And this is uh, reported by Tom Pellicero. If, if a game cannot be rescheduled during the 20, 2021 season, the 18 week season, due to COVID outbreak among unvaccinated players, the team with the outbreak will forfeit and be credited with a loss for the playoff seating. These are massive implications. Honestly, honestly, this is huge. This will turn a winning season into a, uh, a losing season for some clubs. This will turn a, a bad season into a good season for some clubs, right? We had DeAndre Hopkins out of Arizona. He said, said this, never thought I would say this, but being put in a position to hurt my team because I don't want to partake in vaccine is making me question my future in the NFL. It's also reported that if he is forced to get a COVID vaccine, that he will contemplate retirement. This is deep. So, massive implication. I know this is a Lion-centric channel, but this massive implication is all across the league. Obviously, COVID numbers... You have 100 million people not vaccinated. You have uh, another, what, it's, it's, it's getting to the point where you have to do your own research on COVID. I see COVID numbers from the military every day. So it's projected that we have 100 million people unvaccinated right now. I also have seen that the vaccination, um, National Guard places, uh, all these places are kind of going empty. So it's real interesting right now. Do you force these players to get vaccinated or do you not? And if you're a team like the Lions, you know, you have to put all the information out there for your players. I think that's what uh, Dan Campbell did. But if you can't play on Sunday and it's a loss, you might you might be able to win that game and you lose. Or you might be able to win or win off the other team not being uh, as COVID ready as you are. So, you know, uh, Dan Campbell said just three months ago that he presented all his guys with, you know, the material, the reading material, and, you know, he's just, you know, he wants to present them with all the information and let them make the best choice for themselves because that's a serious situation. My belief is I haven't had a COVID uh, shot. <laughs> I haven't had it. My girlfriend's had it. Until the military forces me to get it, I will not. And until until it becomes really advantageous, like if I had to go to like New Orleans, you know, I'm planning a trip right now. If I'm going to one of them huge COVID states, you know, like uh, Louisiana or Texas, I'll have to get it some type of way. But it's big implications for the Lions, man. So tell me what you think. I I honestly do not want to deal or dabble with the COVID, uh, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to dabble with it. It, it was a, it was a sparse last season. It was crazy. It was everywhere. We had teams with no wide receivers, no quarterbacks. Uh, we, we we can say what we said. We had the Denver Broncos play with no quarterback. We had um, another team, uh, <laughs> the Browns, in a playoff game. In a in a playoff game. Um, or a game with playoff implications, if I'm wrong. Play with no head coach, no this, no that, no quarterback. It was it was nonsense, right? So they had zero coaches and still came out and won that game. So it's going to be massive for the league to really try to force this on players. 
It's going to be interesting because this isn't even a national law. We still have COVID numbers that are pretty, pretty high. I know my people don't want to hear about the COVID, especially if you're in Michigan. Nobody want to hear about that. So this is actually a bigger year for COVID than the actual year before. Uh, we just learned to move forward, wearing our mask and, you know, doing our due diligence. And people are trying to move beyond the pandemic. But with maximum capacity being a thing and fans doing meet and greets, going to training camps, everything pretty much opening up, this is going to be real big. So i love to have a dialogue with uh, the fan base, with the uh, subscribers about these COVID implications. We could be a team that's probably seven and um seven i believe that's what, no seven and ten and we could probably win three games off COVID to make us a 10 and 17 i mean this is this is massive you know this is really massive uh just our ties to henry ford hospital you know detroit lions have ties to that obviously just to have ties to all these you know dmc right downtown you know have ties to you know all the medical facilities around downtown Detroit. Detroit Lions should remain healthy from the COVID. I really believe so. Uh, other clubs that was affected with COVID, like I think uh, Detroit Lions handled it really terrific last season. Barely anyone was out for the COVID. We just was an injury prone team and we, we sucked um, in, in different lights. But forfeiting games, being a lose in a column if you can't reschedule. And if you can't play that Wednesday, you have a Thursday night game. You know, we had a team last year uh, play on a Wednesday night. Wednesday night game. No game has ever been played on Wednesday except for last year. So it's going to be interesting. I guess it's definitely going to depend on those teams' schedules. If they have a COVID outbreak on Sunday, if they can play on Wednesday, that's going to affect the next game if they don't have a bye week or anything. And with an 18-week schedule, 17 game schedule it's going to be really hard it's going to be really hard to to mirror those weeks you might get your game postponed and then have to come back again um and and wow that's just come back again on wednesday and and play that game and then on on thursday you studying for the next opponent that's how crazy it is so Obviously, it's going to be a real, a real fuck you season or a messed up season for uh, a lot of clubs, a lot of teams. So like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all.